It happens quickly. So quickly you could easily miss the transaction. In Little India, groups of men peddle chewing tobacco, which has been banned in Singapore since 2016. The heavy pedestrian presence does nothing to deter the men. For them, it is business as usual. Nearby, discarded packets of chewing tobacco litter the gutter. The dried rust-colored residue of poorly aimed tobacco spit can be seen on dustbins on the floor. Over the last two weeks of February, the Straits Times observed the street peddlers and some shops in Little India. Alert and well organized, groups of peddlers work in Chanda Road. They soon disperse when the security guards and auxiliary policemen approach the area. The chewing tobacco is stashed nearby in places such as a restaurant storeroom and an electrical box. Some peddlers tuck the contraband under their shirts. The Straits Times alerted the Health Sciences Authority about the illegal activities. The HSA told the Straits Times that from 2019 to 2021, 81 people were caught peddling, 255 were caught importing, and 457 were caught for possession of chewing tobacco. Those who were caught peddling were street sellers. In the same period, fines amounting to over $170,000 were imposed. One smuggler was given the highest sentence of 16 weeks imprisonment. Yet, while the Straits Times tailed a worker, it became apparent that the banned product was being sold through under-the-counter methods at some shops in Deska Road. A shop assistant told the worker to wait while he retrieved the chewing tobacco from behind a garbage bin. At another shop, a man pulled out a packet of chewing tobacco wrapped in grease paper from a drawer. In an alley, we confronted the buyer. The migrant worker showed us his stash, adding that due to the high demand, many sellers will restock the chewing tobacco by the weekend. He said that each packet cost him about $5. However, it is illegal to possess chewing tobacco. A spokesman for HSA said, HSA conducts regular surveillance and continues to work with the relevant enforcement agencies on operations in targeted areas, with the aim to disrupt the sale and possession of chewing tobacco as well as other prohibited tobacco products.